Hi Stampers, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Today I'm going to show you a video on how to complete this designer paper double flapped envelope card. It opens up to reveal the sentiment and you could also write a little message on the inside. And on the back there's also a place there to add maybe a chocolate bar or something for Valentine's or even some tags that you can just pop out. But this is um, the card for today and let me show you the supplies we're going to be using. I'm using a, sheet, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper from the Perfectly Artistic Designer Paper that's available to earn for free in the Celebration catalog. You're going to need a scrap piece of Blushing Bride cardstock, a piece of Blushing Bride glimmer paper, Whisper White cardstock, and the stamp sets for today are Bloomin' Love, and we're actually using the My Valentine sentiment, the two flowers, and the banner, and I added the Love You in the center of the banner. The second stamp set is First Sight, and we're actually going to be using this, the heart image that coordinates with the Sweetheart Punch. For inks, we need Blushing Bride, and we are also going to be using two of our Framelits or Thinlit Dyes collection. This one is the Large Numbers Framelits, and we're going to be using the banner from that set. And we're also going to be using Blooming Love, which is the heart with the two coordinating flowers. We are going to need five of the silver mini brads. We're going to need one of the tea lace doily, and I keep them in a clear case for storage. And a couple tools. We're going to need a bone folder, a piercing mat and the, die, uh, the Big Shot die brush and your adhesives. So let's get started. Now the designer paper I'm using today is actually from our celebration catalog. And this is a pack of paper that you can earn for free by placing a $50 order. And I wanted to show you all of the patterns. Um, you have two sides to each sheet, of course. And you have the marbled, you can see some of these sheets have marbled patterns on it. Here's a close-up of the top one. And then the corresponding um, back of the sheet is more of a flatter design, but it almost looks like skyish or waterish, if that's a word. So the one I'm going to use for today's card is this color. And what I've done is I've trimmed it to a 10 by 10 so I removed two inches off of each side so you can use these for other cards. I'm going to bring in my bone folder and what we're going to do is fold the cardstock in half and try to be as precise as you can when meeting the edges of your designer paper because that will affect how you end up um, with a perfectly shaped card. Now we're going to open this back up and fold in the other direction. And again, line up your edges. And for the third step, you're going to open up and each corner needs to meet the center of your card, of your designer paper. And you're just going to fold all four corners down. And again, make sure that they are all lined up perfectly. Sometimes the corner is hard to, um, to find when you're dealing with the pattern on your paper, but this one's not too, too bad. And it does end up looking like an envelope. So there's my fourth fold. And now we're going to take this, flip it over, and fold it in half. And because this is getting to be a little thick, I'm going to press all of my folds again 
just to press them in place. I'm even going to fl uh, flip this over and do the same thing. Now they are all nice and flat. We are now going to take the flap from the back and flip it over to the front. And what I'm going to do is center the tip here because you are flipping over and there is a little bit of bulk. And what that's going to do is actually show that you have two layers and it kind of outlines that second layer so that looks kind of neat so press everything in place again and this is how your card is going to open to reveal the sentiment or whatever it is you want to put on the inside so now we're going to actually glue this portion back to back I'm going to add some snail. I'm going to add quite a bit just to make sure that it's going to stay closed. And then we're also going to add snail to the flap from the back that we just folded over. And this is what your card is going to look like. Now let's get ready to decorate it. I've gone ahead and cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock measuring six and three quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. And I'm actually going to glue that to the inside of the envelope. I'm going to push that in all the way. It's going to act as a liner for my card. And then I'm going to bring in the Blushing Bride ink and my Valentine. I'm going to stamp this at the top. That way it leaves a little bit of room inside here if somebody wants to write something down. Now for the front of my card, I've gone ahead and pre-cut some of the items I'm going to use going to start out with the tea lace doily and then we have new glimmer uh, paper in blushing bride look how pretty that is I've gone ahead and cut that using the blooming hearts thinlets dies and a tip about cutting glimmer paper with it make sure you flip your glimmer paper over and cut it this way and I usually run it through my big shot back and forth um, a total of four times to make sure I get a nice clean cut and then I did use my big shot die brush which fits right on top here you leave the, the um, cut part of your die inside and then you just use the brush over and you'll see where all the little holes are that's where all the little pesky pieces are and they will either loosen or pop out completely to make it so easy for you to take the little portions out of the heart. I also pre-cut the little flowers that I'm going to stamp on to glue to the heart and those are just the little die cuts that come with the heart as a three-piece set. I'm going to be using this flower and this flower to stamp directly on my flowers. And I found that cutting them ahead of time and stamping on the flower is a lot easier. If you find that you did cut these in advance and don't re remember which direction they need to go in, just bring your die back in. There's a little notch right here that has a little tail sticking out which corresponds with the little notch on your stamp. So I would just put these back in. Just keep turning and they, until they fit in your die. I'll get it here, I promise. Okay, that's this one. So this is going to go to the top and then you line up the stamp 
so that the notch is also at the top. I'm going to bring in some dark paper so I can see what I'm doing. I find that when you're using white, when you have a white background, it makes it hard to stamp on. So now I can see my flower. I'm going to line that up and that's perfect. Now I'll go ahead and stamp all the other flowers and I'll be right so back. So now let's recap my layers. I have five silver mini brads, my glimmer heart, my five stamped flowers, and my white doily, tea lace doily. I've also gone ahead and stamped the banner and cut it out. I decided to bring in a second stamp set called First Sight, and I'm going to be using this image here that corresponds with the Sweetheart Punch. So what I've done is I've stamped two of them with Blushing Bride ink on Blushing Bride cardstock and cut them out with the punch. So now I think we are ready to assemble the front of our The first card. thing I'm going to do is bring in my piercing mat so I can add a hole in the center of each flower. And actually, because I'm adding the two additional hearts, I'm not going to add a flower in that one. I'm going to do something else with it. So I'm going to add all of my flowers using the mini brads. And you can see how those really stand out against the glimmer paper. That's kind of why I stuck to the white. And it also coordinates with the doily. So now that I have them all in place, I'm just going to fold the petals in a little bit just to give them some height. And you don't need to worry that they are lined up exactly with the shape of the flower. I think it looks great with the glimmer paper peeking from underneath each flower anyway. Okay, we have that portion done. Now I'm going to bring in the doily. I'm going to add quite a bit of adhesive. And I'm just going to um, place it so that the bottom is even with the bottom of my card and center that. And now I'm going to add some stamping dimensionals to my heart. And I'm adding them where each flower is so that it doesn't peek through from the back. So we're going to press this in place and I'm going to tilt it just a little at an angle so that I can add these hearts and I'm going to glue those down with dimensionals also and for this one because I'm overlapping it I'm only going to add one dimensional and a little bit of glue so that it'll glue to the other heart And then I'm going to add the brad to the smaller flower. Just try to make sure it's tucked under the petal so it doesn't show through. And we'll add a dimensional to the back of that so we can pop it up and add it between the hearts. And lastly, our sentiment. We're also going to add dimensionals and because most of this is going to be glued to the glimmer paper I like to add just a dot of the liquid glue because sometimes it does not adhere well to the glimmer now paper. I'm going to turn this so it's at an angle and I'm also going to try to tuck some of it 
behind the heart. And I'm just going to press down to make sure that the glue adheres to the glimmer paper. And there you have the front of your card. Isn't that beautiful with the glimmer paper? And the recipient just needs to open this up. And I think I'm going to end up adding to the back also because you do end up having a pocket. So be a cute place to put maybe just a tag or something else for Valentine's on the back. But that's my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will list the items that I used on the next slide along with the information for my online store. Have a good day and thanks for stopping by.